YouTube and welcome to this week's edition of Race Car Fabrication and Restoration. My name is Ronnie Humphrey and we are on the road today to go finally look at the barn find cars that I've been teasing you about for the first couple of weeks and so excited to get to show you these project cars we're going to be doing. You know people talk about barn finds and I've always heard about them all my life but I've never really seen one or been involved in one. And I heard about these cars and I went and talked to the family and the family agreed to let us come back and restore these cars in honor of the drivers who uh, race these cars and there's two cars one's a 1966 Nova that we will convert back to a early 70s style asphalt late model and the second car is a early 80s all-pro super late model that raced at tracks like Five Flags Speedway, Mobile, Alabama, Birmingham, Alabama, Jackson, Mississippi and even Nashville, Tennessee and this is back in the heyday of the all pro cars when they were barnstorming in the south and you had drivers like the Allison gang and you had uh, Pete Hamilton, Freddie Fryer, you know, Mark Martin, uh, Rusty Wallace, all these guys, that's, that's where they cut their teeth. What made them so good later on when they entered into NASCAR was their barnstorming they did across the south in these all pro cars. So it's really a blessing to be able to work on these cars and cannot wait to get started on them and, and get them back to uh, what they were back in the glory days. So we appreciate you joining us today. Thank you for those who have already subscribed to the channel and we hope that you will continue to tell your friends and your gearheads, uh, buddies about the show and we'll have a lot of fun and uh, we finally kind of get into the meat of the show now this time with these cars. So stand by and we will let you get your eyes on these things for the first time. We are almost there, and I can't wait to show them to you. So we'll see you in a few minutes. Welcome back YouTube and we made it safe and sound to our destination. I cannot wait to show you what is behind these walls of this old building. And what a fantastic find. I cannot wait to get started on these two cars. So uh, let's get in here and show you what we got. Well, let's see what we've got here. Are you ready? <laughs> and here they are. Can you believe that folks? A 1966 Nova vintage race car sitting in the same spot for close to 40 years and a all pro asphalt super late model been sitting here since the 80s. What an unbelievable find. The 1966 Nova as you see is pretty much totally complete. These are from the famous Bean family from Bossier City, Louisiana. Harlan Bean campaign, the 55 car, and his son, Trey Bean, actually drove the 55 car, the Nova. This was his first race car that got him started in his uh, career of becoming a very good dirt late model racer. He ran a little bit of asphalt, but primarily ran dirt. But I'm so grateful for the Bean family to letting us restore these cars and get them back into what they were in their glory days. We will be bringing this Nova back to the condition it was as a early 1970s asphalt late model. And you can see it's complete with about 30 plus years of dust and dirt on it. But guys, it don't get any better than this. This is unbelievable. So excited to be able to have opportunity to work on these cars. The super late model ran at Five Flags, Mobile, Birmingham, Jackson International, Jackson, Mississippi. It ran also up at Nashville Fairgrounds. I'll give you all the stats later, but I think it had about 15 starts, one top five, and I think three top tens. But fantastic find. The car was originally built in Georgia, and we'll just Discuss that a little bit later on. The 
body on the car is we still have the quarter pounds. We're going to order a new uh, five star body for the car, but we do have some patterns go by and where everything hung at. But this was a professional built car, professional built super late model. They've come a long ways, but uh, nonetheless, this is back in the glory days of the all pro racing series. Cannot wait to get started. You can see here Mr. Trey Bean. Still got his name on it. There's a lot of dirt on these cars. <laughs> but they've been sitting here a long time. So we'll get these loaded up. We'll probably get the Nova out of here first. It's going to be the easiest. Get it on the trailer and get it to the shop. And See if we can get it cleaned up. Probably take it to the car wash first thing to do. It's kind of a shame to get rid of all the dust on it, but I do want to document everything. But we will probably go by the car wash and get it cleaned up and, and before we get it down to the shop. But guys, is that not cool or what? It's going to be a great project. So stand by and we will be right back with you. YouTube. As you can see, we've made it safely back up to Bossier City, Louisiana, back to the Harlan Bean shop. And we're going to try to make an attempt at loading up this Nova. It's been sitting here for a long time, but we've got some spare wheels and tires from the shop. We're going to try to put them on. Uh, the, there were some lug nuts still left on the wheel studs, but they are rusted really bad due to the exposure of this open shop here. But hopefully we can get those uh, lubed up and get them tight enough to hold the wheels on enough to get it loaded up. There's also not a steering shaft in the car, but I think we'll be able to kick the tires around enough to be able to get it loaded up on the trailer. Thank goodness we have a winch to help us with that today. So let's go ahead and get started and hopefully we won't have any issues. We'll get it loaded up and go get it cleaned up and ready to start trying to come up with a plan of action for what the, uh, for this car will be. Then we'll come back and we'll get the Super late model back here in the corner. We'll get it a little bit later, but we're going to try to get the Nova out of here because it'd be the easiest one to get first. So stay tuned. Let's get started and see what we can do. YouTube as you can see we got the Nova loaded that was a job but not having a right front spring in the car I had to improvise and luckily I found some two befores I was able to use the spacers to put up between the a-frame and the frame rail on the right front corner of the car to get the right height up to be able to get the car on the trailer but uh, we finally improvised a way to get it done and we prevailed but uh, got to put a couple of hood pins in the car and then uh, get it back to the house center and try to get it cleaned up and try to come up with a game plan. Uh, we'll come back and get the all pro super late model here in the next day or two. And that we're actually going to start on it first, but I want to get the Nova out of the way so we can get access to the super late model. But really looking forward to this project and uh, hope you will follow along with us 
and as we get going on it. So thanks for watching, and we'll be right back with you. Welcome back YouTube. As you can see, we made it back up to Bossier City, Louisiana. And today we're going to be loading up the All Pro Super Late model. And we'll get it loaded up on the trailer here. I'm going to use some skates that I brought with me from the shop. And we'll try to get it cleaned up on the concrete here and get around and we we'll get loaded up with the winch. Then we'll run by the car wash and we'll get it cleaned up. And then we'll go down to the shop and start trying to get a game plan on how we're going to start this restoration. So stay tuned and let's see if we can get this thing loaded up. Welcome back YouTube. As you can see, we have the All Pro Super Late Model safely in the shop and it's back with his buddy, the Nova. They were apart for a few days, but I think they're happy to be back together again now. But we're really excited to finally get started on this project. I'm working on our chassis dollies here. We're gonna move around. I'm actually building two sets of these and we will have those finished up. Hopefully here in the next day or two, um, I'm waiting on Amazon casters to come in. I decided I'd build some uh, scaffolding type big eight inch dollies and they're really heavy duty dolly casters and uh, man it looks like they're going to really work nice here on the concrete so we're building two sets of these so we still have our regular race cars we're going to be working on this winter in addition to these two restoration projects so we got a lot of stuff to do so i'm trying to get uh, these dollies made so we can move the chassis around uh, easier and as we're working on uh, these projects and other stuff I was able to confirm today with five star race car bodies that they have located an all steel Camaro body that, that was made for the all pro cars back in the day, back in the early 80s. I'm so excited. They have everything except for the roof, but we're going to just find a local uh, Camaro here locally and we're going to cut it down and we'll fit. You'll never know the difference, but we have the quarter pounds, the doors, the front fenders, the hood. Um, and of course, everybody still carries the nose pieces for these cars back in the day, so we'll have everything we need. But we got a lot of work to do this chassis. We got to weld up all the holes where rivets been installed in the chassis, so gonna you know, get all those welded up and buffed out. And then we'll finally uh, mount the body, and we'll go ahead and probably pretty much assemble the body uh, on the car, get everything on, then take it all back apart, and then we'll take it and get it powder coated. And so we got a lot of work to do there. On the Nova, we have picked up a 602. A crate motor for it and I don't need anything fancy for it 
but we're going to probably go ahead and pull the body off of this car and get down to the chassis. And I'm gonna go ahead and build all the motor mounts and transmission mounts and everything for the for the um, Nova. And we're gonna change up some of the interior as well because I want to run asphalt style exhaust out of it. And uh, so we're going to uh, get all that going. So we got several different projects going on at the same time. And like I say, in addition to our normal race cars that we run out of the shop here, we'll be working on those as well. So, but guys, I appreciate you watching. It's so much fun. We finally get into the meat of the show, of the, of the channel. And I hope that you will watch us and like us. If you haven't, uh, like our channel. And you can search for us under Race Car Fabrication and Restoration. I appreciate all of you that's already liked the channel. I think we're up to like 30 some people just in a couple of weeks, and that's phenomenal. And we're going to have a lot of fun. It's going to be pretty interesting uh, watching these. I think you're going to uh, enjoy watching Buddy Parks, my friend, as we work on these. He's an amazing, amazing uh, wealth of knowledge and watching him work on these cars. It's going to be a lot of fun. So, Thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time on Race Car Fabrication and Restoration. Take care.